You're gonna learn how to wall dash and how to chain wall dash. And for those who don't know how to do it, you're gonna be extremely surprised at how easy it is. If you don't know what a wall dash is, it's a mechanic done on the wall to speed your car up. It combines a wave dash with a flip and basically allows your car to get the exact same speed boost as it regularly would with a normal flip, but without completing the entire movement, which as you can imagine, results in a much faster acceleration. As always, whenever I've done tutorials on this channel, we're gonna be breaking it down into super small and easy to learn parts. The way we're gonna to learn today will definitely feel a little bit weird or a bit stupid to some people who haven't watched my tutorials before, but I promise you, if you just bear with me, it's gonna result in a much faster learning process. The two most common mistakes people make when first learning how to wall dash or even after they've learned how to wall dash and think they've gotten it down is spamming X as fast as they can and also not correcting their car in between the wall dashes. And if you do either of these two mistakes or both at the exact same time, which most people do, it results in something like this. Your car will just go up and up the wall until eventually you just end up backwards or you might even flip off the wall. We're going to completely avoid making those mistakes. We don't want to create bad habits at all. So without further ado, let's get into the process of learning. All you need to understand to know how to wall dash is this pattern on your left analog stick. If you're on the left wall, it's right, left, middle. And if you're on the right wall, it's left, right, middle. Do this movement quite quickly whilst you're driving along the wall with the aim for your car to be driving in a pretty much straight line after doing these wiggles. It's gonna look stupid, it's gonna feel weird, but bear with me. Do it for about 30 seconds to a minute and you're gonna feel, you know, getting used to the process. It's gonna result in much faster learning. Now do the exact same thing, but press X twice quite quickly as you start pushing your stick from the left to the right position if you're on the right wall or vice versa if you're on the other wall. If you do the sequence correctly, you're gonna dash in a straight line. Don't spam X, just press it twice and keep doing it with about a two, three second break in between your wall dashes. Make sure you get the pattern down, do it for a couple of minutes and then come back. After we've gotten the sequence down, we can speed it up just a little bit. Aim for about a second in between your wall dashes. I don't want you to get caught up and try and focus on speeding up too much. So just keep the focus on the left analog stick movement of left, right, middle, or obviously vice versa if you're on the other wall. Once you've gotten used to wall dashing with about a second in between, you've basically got it down and just need to keep practicing this movement. Over time, you're gonna get way faster at this mechanic. A big thing for you to try to learn how to speed up is going back to step one with about five seconds in between your wall dashes but instead, when you wall dash, you're gonna try and do it twice. Again, with enough practice, you're gonna have that down and then you'll decrease the time in between the wall dashes to a second and then increase it back to five, but with three and so on and so on. You guys get the picture. With enough practice, you'll be used to doing it consistently and will only get faster over time. Let me know if this tutorial helped some of you in the comments and what else you'd like to learn. See you next time.